Types of centrifugal pumps Introduction A centrifugal pump means a hydraulic machine that converts mechanical energy into hydraulic energy. A centrifugal pump is a rotary machine that converts mechanical energy or kinetic energy into pressure energy or pressure head by means of centrifugal force, is known as a centrifugal pump. Different types of centrifugal pumps are used in industries based on the requirement. They are classified based on design code, impeller types and numbers, application, etc. The charts below cover the most common way to organize these pumps. The same pump can be a part of two or more groups. These are the following types of the centrifugal pump. In our video we will discuss all the types of centrifugal pump individually. On the basis of flow type. A. Radial flow pump. In radial flow, fluid take a 90 degree turn from the suction. Most centrifugal pump comes under this category. Fluid enters through the horizontal suction flange and leaves through a vertical discharge flange. That means discharge is perpendicular to the pump shaft. This design is used when you want to increase discharge pressure with a limited flow of the fluid. You can simply say that it is high pressure, low flow rate pump. Most pumps used in oil and gas will fall into this category. B. Axial flow pump. When the fluid flows parallel to the pump shaft, it is called an axial flow pump. In this type of pump, pumping liquid moves parallel to the pump shaft. This action resembles working or propellant. This pump is useful when handling a large amount of fluid with very little pressure head. Dewatering pumps and water circulation pumps are everyday use cases of axial flow pumps. C. Mixed flow pump. As the name suggests, when the fluid flow is mixed of both radial and axial, it is called a mixed flow pump. It is a trade-off between radial and axial type pumps. It can handle a high flow rate with a decent increase in pressure head. 2. On the basis of number of stages. Depending on the requirement, two or more impellers can be used in the pump. Single stage. A single stage pump means a single impeller in the pump. This pump is having the simplest design. Maintenance is very easy. Suitable for low pressure and large flow rates. Applications. B. Multistage. The image below shows the single stage pump with many impeller on the shaft. The multistage design is used when you need a very high head at discharge. In this case, impellers are connected in the series so that each stage will boost the fluid pressure. 3. Dot on the basis of volut casing. A. Single volut pump. This kind of pump has one volut, which means a single volut. These are with low capacities and size is very small. If the space is very small and the capacity requirement is less, this kind of pump is suitable. A single volute pump has higher unbalancing radial loads. B. Double volute pump. This kind of pump has two partial volutes. At 180 degrees apart, both the volutes are located. Due to this 180 degree angle, the pump has a balanced radial load. Double volute centrifugal pumps are widely used in many industries. 4. On the basis case design. Axial split pump. As the name signifies, axial split, these kinds of pumps, split axially. Here, casing splits axially. The line which splits the pump will be at the center line of the shaft. Axial split pumps are generally mounted horizontally for easy installation and maintenance. These pumps are widely used in oil refineries. B. Radial split pump. Radial split pump, as the name suggests, 
casing splits radially. In this pump, the split line is perpendicular to the shaft center line. It is simply the way to open a pump for any maintenance. 5 On the basis on shaft orientation. A. Horizontal pump. In this kind of pump, shafts are in a horizontal plane and due to this orientation, these pumps are known as horizontal centrifugal pumps. Servicing and maintenance are very easy in this kind of pump. B. Vertical pump. A vertical centrifugal pump means shafts will be in a vertical plane. Overhung pumps, radial split case type pumps are this kind of pumps. Borewell pumps, sump pumps are some examples of this kind. 6. On the basis of number of suctions. Single suction pump. Single suction means as the name signifies one-sided suction of the impeller. In this pump, liquid enters in the impeller through one suction pipe only. It has a single suction impeller. Liquid enters through one side only. Simple design. This pump can have higher axial thrust due to an imbalance of flow coming in only one side. B. Double suction pump. When the flow required is very high, a single suction pump cannot be fulfilled the requirements. In this case, liquid enters in the impeller through both sides of the impeller and increases the flow. Normally, split case pumps are the most widely used pump with double suction impeller. 7. On the basis of impeller position. Overhung. We know the impeller is fitted with the shaft and supported. In these kinds of pumps the impeller is mounted at the end of the shaft. This shaft is supported by bearings at only one side instead of both ends. These pumps can be horizontally or vertically oriented. B. Between bearing. Between bearing means, the shaft is supported by bearings at both ends. Here, the impeller is located between the bearings. 8. On the basis of design code. When it comes to using code for pump design, the following two are used in most cases. API 610, this is most widely used in oil and gas, petrochemical, and similar process industries. It has its own pump classification. ISO 5199 slash ISO 2858 slash DIN 24256, DIN 24256 is now merged with ISO 2858. These standards are used for all types of pump design. 9. Like and subscribe.